Hey. What's going on, guys? Doing here representing WGD. Well, God damn. Today, get my nose fixed. Today, we're going to be review reviewing the Steam Crave Titan box mod. Yes, it's here. Finally, about time I'm about to review this. It's taking too long now. So, this is a big one. It's a big mother fucking mod man but yeah let's uh you know what yeah let's dive down let's see what you get in the box and whatnot we'll go back up top and tell you guys what i think on this device and yes let's go hey well, goddamn so here's the box it will fit in the screen there you go steam crib at the top you see the mod here titan pwm mod powerful safe and whatnot and then on the side you've got steam crave and the website steam crave steam crave steam crave you don't know about steam crave <laughs> so yeah you've got the components at the back let's get this out of the way four piece 18650 parallel series configuration so that will be the configuration when you put your batteries in and then you get your chips and whatnot everything's here scratch and check ce recycle and whatnot in the box you do not get much in the box literally it's just the mod as you can see right here if i just pull this out and then underneath you do get a little manual and sticker as well yeah so there's all your information let's get this out of the way your ram you got loads of protection in this mod yeah safety protection low voltage short circuit over protection over current you know what i mean temperature uh protection battery reverse protection there's all sorts over time shortcut voltage maximum output 300 watts input 45 to 60 blood clot amps man god damn that's a lot that's a lot going on but everything's there you go so here is the mod itself it is a shit brick house right massive now I don't have anything big to comparison. I used to have the hammer of God, but I'll tell you something now. The width, okay, the width of it is not as wide as the hammer of God, the V3, okay? But it is taller than the hammer of God itself. That's just as simple as it is. Okay, there you go. Steam crave engraved, nice black finish really nice nothing too in your face you got your screen at the top you got your fire button and you got your dial as well okay to flip uh, to go through the voltage it's variable voltage this device i don't know why pwm but it's variable voltage titan pwm mod so at the bottom engraved and at the back you got your serial uh, code bottom is your battery door and you've got ventilation holes all here and the you got your battery button as well. At the top, five, ten pin. You got two Phillies and screws. It is spring loaded indeed. Very spring loaded indeed. Okay, and that that is, and then some more venting here as well. So yeah, it's it's pretty plain and simple. Okay, let's get this door open at the bottom. So it's a pull. Just pull it. It'll pull off. It'll come off. Yeah. You got. A little got a teeth here okay you've got a groove there and that side so there's only them two ways of putting it in if you put it in uh, that way or that way it doesn't matter okay but if you put it any of here it won't go in yeah and as you can see on the inside you can see the plus on that side and a minus on that side as well okay so what we're gonna do is let's put some batteries in plus down And then minus up. Let's, uh, let's zoom this a little bit. Yeah. There you go. And then find the teeth one side of the other. I'll go this way. Slot it in. You can see the teeth there. Push. I'll slot it in if you get it in right. There you go. Push. And it's in. There you go. I think that is not coming out. That is, I guarantee it's not coming out. Okay. And here is the screen itself. Very simple. 
two battery indication. People have thought, why not the four battery indication? I'd have liked four battery, I'd have put like one, two, three, four that way, okay? But um, it's just showing to you, which is not a big bother. As long as you see your batteries, that's fine. Your voltage here, indication, your ohms, I've got nothing on top, and then your wattage. So when you pulse this, it shows how many wattage you are pulling at between these this volt so 290 it won't say anything because again i don't have anything now i actually had a problem with this device when i ordered it as soon as it came in i was looking at it checking it out checking the dial and when i was turning it which as you can see now it goes in one increment okay when i was turning it there was an area where it got to about here and it was hard really hard to turn and then it'll go loose again now i tried to suss out what was going on how i even took the screws out to see if there's any Thing blocking it um, the uh, dial on the inside everything was pristine and screwed it back on it was still doing the same as well I will try to spin it around to loosen it see if it did anything in the justice and it didn't at all it did not do anything at all okay so emailed them and then they said let's try and figure this out without sending this back they told me to take this battery door off okay the groove area put it underneath in that gap yeah behind the fire button and just lift it just just push down on this side so the button will lift a bit turn it again lift and go all the way around and it will fine so I can actually turn my dial around now without it sticking okay it was perfect which is perfectly fine so I'm, I'm glad so yeah anyway one volt dial goes point one and you go all the way to you can dial all the way around to 8.4 volts as well okay let's go back down just in case so i only have the fp to choose and i don't have the titan tank i didn't feel like having it yet but at some point i will get it and i also got this will come up for review at some point and um, the warhead this is the styled rda this is not the authentic okay just to get that out of the way the styled and the only issue is the 510 pin is way too massive i tried to suss out how to get it fixed but i'm gonna get that emailed and sent off and sorted so it's protruding inwards a bit more but we're gonna test on this as well <laughs> but yeah to put this on this this fits up to a 40 mil diameter obviously this mod was made for the titan tank this was made for the tank so this fits up to 40 this is a 30 mil uh t a itself and you can see no space left so many much space left so much space left yeah all right let's run at point one one okay if i let's go down a bit let's go 2.5 if i press and hold it's telling me i'm running at 57 watts okay we go higher 66 so you know what's best for you do you know what i mean the maximum i can do for this one just in case without burning out is around three i like to keep it so 82 watts but i like 280 yeah <coughs> and yeah turn it off one two three four five yeah one two three four five to turn it back on okay now if you find the right settings on voltage yeah so 2.2.8 volts is nice enough for me for this rta one two three it's locked so no matter what when i spin it if you accidentally turn this nothing's gonna happen okay nice and easy one two three unlocked that's that's that is it that is it for the system that is it for the functions of this chip okay five clicks to turn on five clicks to turn off three clicks to lock it done that's it you dial nice and easy that is it it's not that loose it's very it's got some turn to it so if you ever turn it one hand you might struggle a little bit but it shows how it's not as easy to turn yeah with like one from it's kind of easy but if you put some force into it but yeah that is that is actually it that is it <laughs> that is it so let's go back up top let's see let's uh vape this big brick shit house and yeah let's go yes yeah, so that was the titan mod by Steam Grave. Now, let's have a quick vape instantly. One second. It's, uh, I've got it on 2.7, okay? So I'm running at 66.2 watts. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. 
Now, the ramp time, 25 milliseconds, okay? And you got to get that, get that little bit out of the way. And this is one hefty mod, okay? Especially with four batteries in here. Now, the size, what it feels like in the hand, it feels more compact because uh, i don't know it just even to the hammer of god it just felt a bit it feels the comparison feels more compact size wise than the uh yeah hammer of god i don't know it just weird even though the size difference is not that much all of the the, the with the length of it it's taller this one now obviously with this one safety features a lot of regulated safety features and obviously hammer of god it's completely serious it's just no safety features unless you got to know how your ohms log to a T and how to build to a T. Yeah, your battery law as well. Okay. There you go. This one, you, you got a lot more leeway. Do you know what I mean? Just the amount of safety features that you've got in here. It's very simple to use. Very simple. You cannot struggle with this. I mean, the fire button's nice and clicky as well. It's responsive. I've clicked, I've just turned it off. And the dial is very nice to turn as well okay yeah i can deal with the size i don't know about going out with it it's just probably home or to the shop but sometimes i might not be fussed you can get i've got like the battery life is 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 crazy man like depends on your build and what you put on it i i've i've put like it must it must uh i started running out about the fourth day almost the fifth day to me everyone's different but for me the fifth day that's when the battery start to run out the fifth day, man. That's long. That's long. Oh, shit, man. I don't take you. All right, you can go Germany and back with this, man. You'll be still full battery. I just like the whole... I like the engravement. I like the design of it. Very... It's comfortable. It's actually comfortable for a square mode in the hand. Um, the door, I don't have any fuss opening and closing the door. There's no fuss with it. It stays in. It's very stern. Do you know what I mean? There's no rattle as well on anything. It's just, I think it's a good mod. For for what it is, for a quad battery, I think it's, it's a powerhouse. Do you know what I mean? Now, I'm going to put this to the test. Depends. My build's a 0.1 on the dot. So my limit uh, for this is 5.5 uh, volts with this uh, Warhead RDA. Let's prepare myself <laughs> i'll just get some ivg with me i'll put that right there okay um uh, i've got enough juice i'll close this off now i'll keep that open and let's unlock it now uh, unlocked okay let's go to what's 350 right 3.5 volts which is a hundred and eleven watts Okay, let's try this. No, I'm going to blow my dick off today. Fucking hell, I, pulse. I didn't, forgot to pulse it. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Mm. Nah, it's alright. I can deal with that. Let's, let's bump it up. Okay. 4 volts, which is 145. Let's put some juice on you because if I burn my mouth out, um, oh, it's gonna kill. It's gonna kill me. And I, um, I can't remember what build I've got in here. Um, still put frames? I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, fully open. 145 watts and 4 volts. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, you know what? Just to, there you go. Right? It's a powerhouse, man. It's a powerhouse. Nah, man. Let's bump it up. Let's get some shit on now. Uh, let's go to... Let's bump it up straight to five. So... Oh, my God. Two, no. Let's go five. That's 227. <laughs> What's 227? Oh, shit. If I pass out, I pass out. I've got no one to help me. No one to save. Five volts. Okay. 
Jesus H. Christ. Ow. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's go up. I know you will, whatever. Who, all years I was watching, you want you want me to go up there. I'm not going to full max. I'm gonna go to the limit. All right. 255 watts, which is um, 5.3 volts. I'm still putting juice in here just in case. I want to make sure, man. I'll blow my dick off. Hmm. <laughs> right. Just a little. I'm just going to show you. Right. There you go. Okay. Jesus, take my insides out, man. It feels like, you know, when you, you, you took so much, you, you intake so much vapor, you just, you like, you can, five minutes later, you're still pouring out some uh, clouds out your mouth, man. You haven't vaped. Shit. Now, the limit, 5.50, which is 275 blood clouds. Volt uh, wattage. Oh. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> Damn. Now nah, I'm turning that back down. Mm -mm. No. Well, you know how that goes. So, obviously, when you get this mod. You are going to probably play around with it a little, little bit, but in general use, it's a nice subtle vape. Man, you're going to get some battery life out of this. And you know what, if you got, if you like some cloud competitions, you take this big shit brick house with you, right? And you probably win everyone. I'm telling you now. But yeah, it's a very good mod. It's simple to use. Comfortable, straightforward, nice and easy. Safety features, done. That's it. Now, price points. You're looking around... I paid, what did I pay now? Uh, including shipping, around £53. £53. When I first saw this, I thought it's going to be quite expensive. But it's not. It's really not. So that's actually a good price. Vape budget hands, come on, man. You, I, I don't even wear scale that. That's a good price, and that's cloudy as shit in here now. But yeah, you're talking around. Uh, I'd say lowest, I'd say, okay, let's say 46 to 55. Yeah, 46 to 55 pounds. Now, there's only that color, and I think it's the silver one as well. Now, some of them, they do like a deal where, where I got it from, you buy the mod buy alone, you buy the tank alone, or if you buy the full kit, I don't know if they still sell it, because someone told me on Facebook, they, they go to the vape shop, and it's in Blackpool, they were doing a three different ways to buy it. So the full kit with the, the tank, yeah, with the big 40 mil tank, is 80 pounds now that's a good price man i think that's a good price really, honestly it's a good price but yeah now you know what price it is you have a good search around and go buy it okay i'm not gonna put links i'm gonna put the rest of the links in the description this i'm just saving my ass i'm not gonna put links for direct um you know to buy so you know where to go google it search for it done bob's your uncle robert's father's brother done right so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if it's a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up and a subscribe, which would be much appreciated. If it's a thumbs down, let me know why in the comments so I can improve. And I will see you guys in the next one. Well, God damn. Peace.